Why, hello, can you hear the chimes from the bells from St John's? It's lovely living here. We hear the bells every hour on the hour, every half an hour and even the quarter. So uh, it's um, a joy to hear the sound as it resonates through Glastonbury. My name's Daisy Foss. Hiya, I'm here again. It's 11 o'clock and uh, wow, what a morning. <laughs> it's been really lovely. I do hope you've enjoyed my little uh, posts of uh, Glastonbury Town and the um, For Your Happiness videos. Uh, and hopefully the quality will be better this time. So do let me know if it isn't. Um, I have uh, had some wonderful um, questions, so thank you to all those who have been um, uh, leaving me comments and asking me questions, and I'll be answering some of them today, um, with now, this morning. Uh, so, uh, Colette, um, thank you Colette, that was a fantastic post that you put, and I'm so pleased for you. Uh, Colette uh, uh, is giving people, or suggesting that people take courage and have uh, um, their um, uh, intention and to pass on positive energy and of course healing for all those who have been struggling with addictions, whether it's with alcohol or drugs or people, uh, um, all sorts of uh, addictions can arise um, with codependency on people, uh, narcissistic personalities, etc. So uh, these addictions are helped greatly by Archangel Mikael. He can help cord, release the cords and to, um, to protect you and really release and dissolve any fears uh, that are around um, your um, con conditioning and patterning um, that can arise. Uh, karmic conditioning, patterning from an early age can cause all sorts of issues with with weight, with uh, um, alcohol, the sweet. You, you, you want life to be sweeter. That's why people drink. Um, people smoke because they're clearing the grief from their lungs. So again, we call in the angels, Archangel Raphael to help. Archangel Uriel is an amazing healer for emotions. So as we um, go through today, I'll be um, giving you tips as to which angels will help you with healing and which ones will help with the crystals and tell you a little bit about the Angels of Awakening and how I met them and, and how um, of such what a big uh, influence they've been in my life and hopefully um, they can be in yours as well. So um, first of all here's the magazine that um, we are absolutely in love with and um, I write regularly for the Angel Answers. This is the, uh, the current uh, copy of the January one and um, Metatron here the Archangel of the month um, Metatron is the Archangel of Sacred Geometry and as the day unfolds you'll um, discover that the Daisy Centre is named as the centre of the Daisy the centre of Metatron's cube so the very very uh, pinnacle of where the energy arises from and we have the angel cards from Emma and these are again a lovely gift um, and if you would like to sponsor, to subscribe to the magazine, it's only thirteen fifty for three uh, editions. So uh, get subscribing today, and you get lots and lots of lovely gifts. This is the uh, card I've pulled, and it says, "Feel the fear and do it anyway." Well, absolutely, that's exactly where I am at this precise moment. So thank you for that. So we have um, had lots of, of replies today. But the first thing I'm going to do is again bring in the angels. We brought them uh, Tanzaniel and Esmeriel this, in this morning. They are the archangels of uh, Atlantis. They're the black and the white angels. And when I wrote my book originally in 2006, it was black and white, black and white angels. So Tanzaniel is the male divine aspect. Um, uh, it's actually both, it's like the yin yang, it's the divine male and divine masculine and it's the, he is the archangel of the void, of creation and Tanzaniel is, is the really strong creator uh, angel of our, of our time, of, our, of, of now and Esmeriel is the archangel of 
the white ray. Archangel Esmeriel is the divine mother aspect of Tanzaniel with the pink rose and the pink light and uh, um, she brings the Archangel of, of creation, of ascension. She uh, helps to, uh, to, to germinate the seeds and, and really make everything arise. So the Angels of Awakening it was no coincidence that they showed themselves as black and white. And, and I didn't find that out until I spoke to Edwin Courtney a, a few years after I'd written the book and he explained it to me. And um, I use uh, his uh, teachings of the Atlantean uh, sacred sounds as well. We'll do that in a minute. So if you have black and white crystals, the selenite to bring the angels in and the obsidian to ground, these are large ones I use or I have some magnetite and again some uh, opalite here. Um, absolutely beautiful uh, energy um, holding the light. So um, put one on each side and this is the start of a crystal grid. You can make your crystal grids as elaborate or as simple as you wish. Um, I use the uh, aquamarine as well. This is Gaius, Merlin's teacher. Beautiful, beautiful angel. And this one is Marina. Marina is the Egyptian priestess who uh, is um, the most amazing crystal. Um, uh, it's aquamarine and she transforms and transmutes and brings through some amazing messages for myself and for others. Um, so as we um, make this crystal grid, I'm going to put these two either side of me as well and uh, we're going to start. So all those who are um, asking questions now, and we'll get to those in a minute, um, but we are going to start by calling in the angels for you. So in your own home now, put both feet on the ground and just center yourself, bringing your alpha and omega together as one, the energy flowing now into the center and as the Alpha and the Omega um, crystals uh, is centred in, in the centre of your being, we call the angels of the Elohim. These are the mighty archangels most people know about and we're going to ask them to surround us and then we will call the angels of Atlantis and angels of Avalon, the angels of alchemy, the angels of awakening, the angels of ascension. So, are you ready? Take a big deep breath in. <sighs> Open your hands to receive. And as you receive this light, this love from the heart of Avalon, we're sending this healing out now as we call and make this space. The angels are already here. We're just going to re uh, acknowledge and, and reignite. So from the east we're calling Archangel Raphael. He is the Archangel of the mighty emerald green ray. He is the healer angel. He heals through the breath. So there's no coincidence that everybody asks you to breathe first when you have an accident or when you're in shock. <gasps> breathe! So breathe in that light, breathe in that love of Archangel Raphael. And as you breathe in this light, we call in the light of Archangel Michael. This is from the, the south, the root part of the room I'm sitting in. I'm sitting in Archangel Michael's corner. And Archangel Michael is the Archangel of the of the blue sapphire ray and it's the fire, the element of fire, the flames of ascension that Archangel Michael brings forth. And so as we call in Archangel Michael, we bring in his healing light. And as we call in Archangel Gabriel from the west, over where the fish tank is, as we bring in the element of water, the water of Archangel Gabriel is serenity and bringing the flow of music, of dance, of joy, of art into your life. And as we call in from the north, Archangel Uriel, these four mighty archangels, Uriel bringing forth the light of 
the earth, the crystals and the minerals in the earth cities. And so we are surrounded by these angels. And these are the angels we're going to send the healing out to you to answer your questions and to send healing right now. I trust that Rebecca received hers earlier this morning. Lynn, uh, Orla, Tracy, Jasmine, uh, Colette, uh, Deborah. Um, oh, I can't remember any more off the top of my head, but please do keep them coming. That's absolutely wonderful. Thank you. So as these four mighty archangels bring this healing through, we are now just going to close our eyes and we drop into the centre of your heart. Stepping into this place and space in the centre of your heart. This golden flower arises, the flower of your heart, with 12 golden petals. This golden petal has 12 golden petals, six at the front and six at the back of your heart. And as you these petals open, step into the centre of your heart chakra. This beautiful flame of ascension, the violet, indigo, purple, ultraviolet light around you. It's arising now in the centre of your being as you step into the centre of it. It dissolves and resolves and releases and returns to source any fear, any addiction, any, any grief or bereavement, anything that is uppermost that's ready now. Just breathe in this violet light and it just just dissolves it. It's absolutely beautiful. And as this light dissolves and resolves, the ultraviolet light makes way for the emerald green flame of your heart. And as the emerald green flame of your heart arises, this beautiful healing light, as it dissolves and resolves and goes to exactly where it's needed in your body, in your physical being, your emotional being, your mental being, wherever it's meant to be. And as this beautiful emerald green light fills your body, in the centre is a pearl, the pearl of your heart, the very centre of the pearl of your being. And as you breathe this pearl, step into the centre of the pearl of your heart. Stepping into this space as you breathe, Breathing the one breath of creation. Breathing the breath of the universe. Breathing this light of the one heart, the one love. Breathing as one. And in this place and space of love, the pink rose light arises. The pink rose light of the centre of your being. The rose quartz in the centre of your being just fills this space. As the Archangel Esmeriel, this pink row, this pink light fills the space. And Archangel Tanzaniel, as one, these two angels, bring this healing light through to you. I'm going to make their sounds and call their sounds as we start with Tanzaniel. The sound is... Ah... Uh, the sound is Aodesh Apran. Say it with me if you wish. Aodesh Apran. Three times. Aodesh Apran. As we call and we make the sounds for Esmeriel. Asua Apran. Asua Apran. Asua Apran. And as this light fills your body, the tears are rolling down my my from my eyes. I'm just going to connect them um, and nullify them as the light flows, as the healing light fills this space. And these mighty four angels that are holding this space with us, Archangel Raphael, we call him too, as we call Aya Apran. He's a tornado of air. 
as he brings this light, this breath of healing. Ah, i apran. As we call him now, ah, i apran, bringing Raphael's light and love into this space. As Mikael steps forth in this whirlwind of fire, ah, i apran, ah, i apran. And as we call Archangel Gabriel, ah, uh, ooh, apran, ah, uh, ooh, apran. And as we call Archangel Uriel, this great flowering tree of life, this Archangel of the earth, the ascension, Archangel of the, of the north, as we call our uh, Ooh, ah, ah, pran. Ooh, ah, 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 pran. Ah, ooh, ah, ah, pran. These beautiful archangels. This is the sounds of the language of light, the sounds and frequencies to call these angels. So they are now sending this energy out as you breathe it in. If you would like to know more about this, we, we go into great depth over this. As I mentioned, the um, the uh, angels of awakening, the black and white angels, they come in and they really show you um, uh, and and help you to transform. So um, uh, the the um, meditation now, um, you can sit in this space as the meditation as you breathe in the light as it's just now filling your body. I'm going to move my hands a bit and send out some healing light. This is through the divine lines, the vital, vital web and through the matrix, uh, the daisy matrix, the flower of life. It is amazing. It is no coincidence that my name is Daisy, although I learnt about the flower of life. Sorry, I was called Daisy before I learnt about the flower of life. I had no idea my name was Daisy a long time before I realised the significance. So um, I trust that you're feeling more calm. I'm just going to answer some questions that again arose from this morning. We, a lot of people were um, asking about tinnitus. Um, tinnitus is a real issue. It is when the inner ear uh, um, is not um, performing correctly and so uh, but it can be brought on by stress or by it can be brought on by uh, loud noises um, it can just be brought on by a bad cold and it can go away it can come it can come in and it can go out but I have found that by acknowledging it and literally turning the ears it usually is in the emotional ear the left ear that's where it starts and it's loudest it can be in the right ear and you literally just retune <laughs> if you remember the old radios where some of you do some of you don't where you had to actually well that probably looks rude I better not do that again um, <laughs> where you tune the uh, the light you tune the sound and we're tuning the light to help with the tinnitus and it can turn it down um, I've had a lot of, of uh, results from healing people with with tinnitus and and people who have who have lost their hearing for a while and it has come back like a miracle we just give the advice for the healing we just uh, allow and trust that whatever's to be will be so so uh, uh, if you are having difficulty hearing or having tinnitus this is one of the ways is to hold your hands over your ear pull it out and then just adjust the frequency and make sure you do both ears and it can it can really help you can also do that with your eyes if you're finding that your eyes are difficult you literally put your hand over your eye pull it out pull the energy of your hand out not your eye please don't go poking out your eyes um, and bring it out and again let it go so the other eye just bring it out and let it go. Okay, do both hands together, put both eyes together, and so that they are equal. I probably look like a complete and absolute mad woman. I don't mind. If it helps someone to hear better or to see better, then that's wonderful. So keep those questions coming and I'll be delighted to answer them. Um, I hope the technical difficulty is over and that we can see me more clearly this time. 
Um, you didn't miss very much this morning. It was uh, um, it was uh, a wonderful opening for the day. Uh, I'm just going to reiterate that uh, um, I'm going to be sending little posts during the day of the uh, finding your happiness. You may have seen um, uh, some already. Um, the lessons of love, life, and creation. They're taken from my book. Um, I have uh, put little words to them. So you pull a court card and then you open the book and uh, your whole message is there. But I've put them into audio and visual for you to have as a little meditation through the day. We've just made four, there are 12, 36 altogether. Okay, so the, uh, um, the healing should be really working through you now and the meditation and I was just going to pull a card um, for 2019 uh, <laughs> and the first card I bought, pulled is dedication. I think that's so lovely. Dedication is being 100% dedicated. It, dedication is being committed 100% and this was the very first angel that started my journey with the Angels Awakening book. I met them in the Great Pyramid um, in Egypt, but when I was told to write a book, um, I saw this angel every day for a um, uh, three months whilst my mum had a brain tumour operation. I, I, this is pure coincidence that this is the one that pulled out from the Angels of Awakening. That's how amazing these angels are. Um, I have uh, the angel cards from Wendy Thompson. Do you remember them? <laughs> this one's good vibrations. You're special. This is for you today. The healing cards from earlier on. And we have the other healing cards from Soul and Spirit earlier. Uh, this is from Jenny. Um, clarity. Stop thinking about it, just do it. So with that message, we are going to um, finish now um, and come back again. Um, oh, no, apparently I can carry on a bit longer. Um, so the, this is a, the uh, messages for, for you from the Soul and Spirit cards. And we've already pulled one from the pack of Emma's um, I will live as a healer. These angels are really rocking today, aren't they? I think these are more for me than they are for the world, but that's how it is. It is it, my world is your world. So as, uh, as um, we send out this energy, it's for everyone. I'm now going to just pull some of the um, angels of... This one is Jophiel. These are the angels of Atlantis from Stuart. Um, Archangel Michael enchantment. Here we have the uh, unicorns. They are so big at this moment. And Jophiel is celebration. So as we uh, see the cards predictions for th this next year, this is what we do. We have celebration and bringing the magic into your life. As you can see, or you may not be able to, but sure. um, yeah, we have. Uh, I have my set of cards out. This is where I do the card readings from, and they are um, uh, they're everybody's that I've been using for a few years. Uh, uh, yes, there are some Doreen's virtues in there. We bless her. We thank her for for the uh, for um, the journey that she helped us all to start. So as this beautiful light of the Angels of Awakening um, is pouring now through your screens, through to you, um, I'm still unable to see the messages as they're coming in, so um, we still have a couple of technical glitches. So I will catch up with them and answer in the next hour. There was one from a wonderful gentleman who asked, is it true, Where is it? what you asked for. Let's just find out what he said. Uh, Frankie. Oh, sorry, Frankie. I've just changed your gender. Sorry about that. Um, uh, Frankie, do wishes you ask or things you... The sound of uh, the angels there is to confirm that, that yes, 
things really do come true. I'm sitting in a manifestation, a place that I had a dream of, which is the Daisy Centre. Uh, I had a dream and I, and it, I woke, woke up and wrote, uh, wrote 13 pages, um, morning pages, uh, uh, and, and this was the manifestation of that dream. Um, in those 13 pages, it's the, the angels were telling me what uh, I would be good at doing and what would be good for me to do um, for my life purpose. And we're going to be talking more about that this afternoon, about your life purpose and about uh, the, your career. That'll be at five o'clock. Um, so we will be able to um, give you more information. But yes, the answer is the things that you ask for do come true. They don't always come true at the time you ask for them. Although the clearer you are, the more you have uh, worked upon your uh, issues, your blockages, and you've got your clairs um, up to muster, your clairvoyance, your clairsentience, and you do that by clearing your sacral chakra, then the more you can hear or see through clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, or even claircognizance. So um, yes, you can trust that these things will come true. Sometimes the thing that you really want to happen isn't for your highest good. So something better will come through. So this is where you have the clear intention, but don't sweat the small stuff. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Don't try and make it happen. Just allow it to unfold. Have the intention that it's going to, going to be. Have the trust and the desire and the absolute faith that it will. And of course, if you want it to happen and you choose for it to happen, it will. There's a wonderful cartoon that uh, I've put on my Facebook page. Uh, somebody asks what's going to happen for the rest of the year in 2019. And the answer was, there are going to be lots of flowers. And he said, how do you know? And it's because I'm going to plant more flowers. And that's how we find our dreams coming true, is because we put the effort in and we plant the flowers. But make sure if you want to have a beautiful peach tree, make sure you plant a peach stone. Don't go planting apple seeds all over the place and expect something different. Okay, I hope that answered your question, Frankie. And I'll, I'll come back to other questions later as the day goes on thank you so much for listening to me i think 20 minutes is long enough and we will come back to you again at two o'clock lots of love